Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Heavy fighting between Syrian rebels and pro-regime Palestinians continued for a third day in the Yarmouk refugee camp. We're clearing Yarmouk of government forces and their Palestinian allies. Palestinian refugees have enjoyed the protection of Syrian authorities for much of the past 40 years. But this conflict is testing their loyalties. Now, even members of a group that has traditionally been an ally of President Bashar al-Assad are angry at the regime. Allahu Akbar! The Palestinian Front for the Liberation of Palestine General Command has been doing most of the fighting against the rebels in Yermuk. But its leaders are furious about the air raid by government forces that killed dozens of people in Yermuk on Sunday. We condemned strongly this air attack against uh, Yermuk refugee, which killed more than 25 people. That's not mean that we are against, against uh, Syria. We ask the government in Syria, we ask a President Assad in Syria to explain this attack. Hundreds of people have fled their homes since the street battle started. Some have found refuge in areas of the camp and affected by the fighting, but many others have left Yermuk altogether. And the casualties continue to rise. The World Health Organization, WHO, has confirmed that the main hospital in Damascus admits up to 100 people every day who've been injured in the fighting, and it's running short of medicine and other supplies. The WHO says that the most common injuries were burns, gunshot wounds, and injuries from explosions. The battle for the Syrian capital has entered its second month. Regime forces still maintain a firm grip on their power base in the center of the city, while the rebels control the city's outskirts. But neither side seems able to advance, and so the fightings are likely to end anytime soon. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.